Hey guys, we just wanted to tell everybody thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to all our subscribers and people that have enough interest uh, and like in Joe. He really works really, really hard and uh, he don't talk much, uh, not in front of a camera anyway. He loves doing the videos, the exercising parts or sparring that he does. Uh, he loves that, but he's not a big talker. He's kind of like a nice, a nicer, little bit of a nicer version of what they said Sonny Liston always was. But we think Sonny Liston was kind of a nice guy anyway. But uh, I think we, we just believe that he had problems with press people, and that's a normal thing because uh, a lot of them can be very ugly. And we just wanted to stress, uh, and Joe will second this, that we believe in Jesus, and Jesus is our King. We believe in right and doing right to other people. Uh, but we get angry sometimes, uh, and we let it be known. And a lot of the things that maybe I say here my son Joe, who's just 14, uh, tells me some of the things that I tell uh, a lot of you. Uh, he just, if there's a bully situation, he's on it. It stops quick with him. If there's ugly around him, he's on it. It stops quick with him. And really, that's a blessing to me that uh, and one thing I know if I if I went to be in heaven tomorrow is that I did a good job with him concerning that because he's always fighting wrongs and standing up and another thing we wanted to let you know uh, Joe is a straight-A student across the board too and he works very hard uh, his schooling really comes easy, easier to him than most people. Uh, he's a thinker, and he remembers very well. Uh, unlike me, uh, I'm, I'm the, the guy at the university that had to take college algebra three times. <laughs> That's me. He's the guy that once he goes to the university is going to whiz through and... Uh, could be a physicist if he so chooses. I always tell folks, Joe does this because he likes it. Uh, it's not forced to do it. Uh, he's got the ability to, from everything between a rocket scientist and a, being a boxer. He's got a whole host of things that where he's been blessed and the blessing is not that he's any more different or any better than the next teenager. Uh, the blessing is, is his work, work ethic, and he works harder. Uh, if he sees somebody working harder than him, he tries to uh, outdo it. So, Joe, did you have anything you wanted to say or thank you to anybody? Or? Thank you for watching our videos. All right. So... Uh, and we wanted to also say, Joe mentioned to me that anybody wants to show us any pointers or anything, please do. Uh, we just ask that people aren't ugly about anything. Uh, from time to time, you'll see me get worked up and do rants. Uh, the last one I did was on some boxing judging out of the state of New Mexico and out of the state of Florida. On some guys that we watched that a uh, little bit older than Joe, but teenagers too, that were competing in Golden Gloves in their respective states. And uh, two guys kind of got the short end of the deal, the shaft of the stick, in our opinion. And we, we kind of got upset about it because we, we like these guys. And we respect them, and they're young, working hard guys. And uh, so that's why I went on the rant on that. From time to time, I'll be raising Cain about this or that or the other. But uh, uh, 
uh, we wanted to send love out to everybody and a huge thanks to Matt Leg for uh, helping us and giving us a, giving Joe a shout out. Uh, we're very lucky that way. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, even ex champions say a lot a lot of good things about Joe. Riddick Bo has made tremendous comments about Joe. Uh, Ernie Shavers, now he was he was a long time, uh, three decade long friend of mine, and uh, he wa he watched Joe from the beginning, and he always he said from day one there's something special uh, with this kid, and I'm not saying that because I like you uh, to me. Uh, so we've had a lot of people say some good things about Joe. Uh, Roy Jones Jr. Uh, has seen a little bit of Joe, and he's like, dude, you need to keep going with this. I'm seeing specialness developing. And uh, so we've had a lot of people say some good things, and we're very, very thankful. And much love to everybody. And uh, we'll be getting up in some tournaments or some matches uh, hopefully soon. We've been moving around a lot. My wife is uh, has a uh, is a teacher and she's contracted with different schools, and so we've moved a lot. And uh, here lately, so hopefully we're going to move one more time and then hopefully be calmed down on that a little bit. And uh, thank goodness for homeschooling, and I wouldn't have Joe in a public school at all as long and won't have him in one as long as I can help that. And uh, uh, I just don't think Joe would mix well with these. A lot of these kids are violent. Uh, I don't think they'd understand the, how that would work out for them with him. Uh, not so much so scared to put him in a public school for him. He, emotionally and what he may learn, yeah, scared to death, but physically kind of scared for the students that would be around him. Fear, fear for him, for them. But uh, anyway, we just thought we'd put this out and uh, Hopefully we'll get Joe talking a little more soon or get some sneak videos of him where he's talking and uh, where he's less inhibited then and we'll get up or something. But much thanks and much thanks to uh, Matt Legg. We, we simply adore you. Joe loves you and uh, we are very appreciative to you and all the friends that have been so encouraging with Joe. We are very thankful, my brother. Thank you all so much, and uh, we hope everybody has a, uh, a good evening. Thank you so much.